Welcome to an example on how to find the projection of a vector onto a subspace in R4 when the subspace has an orthogonal basis. Looking at the notes below, let W be a subspace of Rn with orthogonal basis given by the vectors u sub 1 through u sub m. Then for any vector x in Rn, the orthogonal projection of vector x onto W is given by the formula shown here. Analyzing the formula, the quotient of dot products will give us scalars that we then multiply by the vectors that form the orthogonal basis, and then we'll find the sum to determine the orthogonal projection of vector x onto w. For our example, w is equal to the span of the set of three vectors, and vector x is a vector 0, 1, 3, 4. We're asked to compute the orthogonal projection of vector x onto w, as well as find the distance from vector x to w. The distance from vector x to w is equal to the magnitude of the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of w, indicated by vector x sub w perp. Let's begin by verifying the three vectors in the set R orthogonal by checking the dot products. The dot products are equal to zero, and therefore the vectors in the set are orthogonal. And therefore we can use the formula below to determine the orthogonal projection of vector x onto w. So let's go ahead and set this up. Because we have three vectors in the set, we have a sum of three scalar multiples involving vectors u sub one through u sub three. So to begin, we have vector x dotted with vector u sub one divided by vector u sub one dot vector u sub one times vector u sub one. So vector x dot vector u sub one is equal to zero times one plus one times zero plus three times negative one plus four times zero, which is negative three. And then we have vector u sub one dot vector u sub one, which is one times one plus zero times zero, plus negative one times negative one plus zero times zero, which is two, times vector u sub one, which is the vector one zero negative one zero. And then we have plus vector x dot vector u sub two, which is zero times zero plus one times one plus three times zero plus four times negative one, which is negative three. In the denominator we have vector u sub two dot vector u sub two, which is zero times zero plus one times one plus zero times zero plus negative one times negative one, which is two, times vector u sub two, which is a vector zero one zero negative one. And then finally we have plus vector x dot vector u sub three, which is zero times one plus one times one plus three times one plus four times one, which is eight divided by vector u sub three dot vector u sub three, which is one squared plus one squared plus one squared plus one squared, which is four. Simplifying, the orthogonal projection of vector x onto w is equal to the vector one half, one half, seven halves, seven halves. If we factor out one half, we have one half times the vector one, one, seven, seven. And now we need to find the projection of vector x onto the orthogonal complement of w and we can do this by determining vector x minus vector x sub w. This gives us the vector zero, one, three, four, minus the vector one half, one half, seven halves, seven halves, which is equal to the vector negative one half, one half, negative one half, one half, or we can also factor out the one half. And now to find the distance from vector x to w, we need to find the magnitude of this vector. Let's do this on the next slide. The magnitude is equal to the square root of the sum of the square of negative one half, the square of one half, the square of negative one half, and the square of one half. This is equal to the square root of one, which is equal to one. So now we know the terminal point of vector x is one unit from w. I hope you found this helpful.